So now this is a live picture on the ground in North Hollywood. Very large police presence. This large uh, uh, amount of officers there have closed Gilmore and Beck for the duration. There are some evacuations here at this home. But what we are looking at now is live pictures with that robot dog. With now you can see that arm, that robotic arm has been extended. It has the capacity to turn doorknobs and open doorknobs, activate switches, pick up objects, and it is all remote controlled by a member of the SWAT team. Amy, this is just an incredible piece of technology. There are rules on how it can be used. It can only be used in operations that are involved like surveillance or things like that. It doesn't have any weapons on it. So this isn't uh, anything that would have a gun or any other kind of a firearm like that or a, a less than lethal weapon. But you can see now this is incredible video of that actuated arm actually attempting to open up that door. We haven't actually seen this robot do this before. We've seen it basically used as surveillance. There was a time a couple of months ago that it actually went onto a bus where there was a suspect who had a gun that was sleeping on that bus and LAPD activated this drone to go and check on that suspect. He later surrendered. But what we are seeing here is now an attempt to probably open that door, but it looked like it was locked. It's really just an incredible piece of technology that we're seeing here, Amy. It really is. You know, we, we remember when the department got the robotic dogs, and it really is interesting to just see it in action right now. It really is amazing to see how it moves, what it's able to do, see how it has that arm up, ready to open up a door. Really amazing technology. Yeah, it really is. And there was some controversy with this purchase. It was a donation uh, by a police union that gave the money to the LAPD in order to buy one of these. And the city council had a lot of discussion about the uses and the allowed uses of this drone. It's a, a robot dog, for lack of a better term. They were concerned about uh, where it would be used. Would it have any firearms ever mounted on it? Uh, would it be used uh, in situations only in a life or death type of a situation? Or would it be used for search and rescue or surveillance? And the LAPD said that it would really only be used in situations like this, where they needed to get eyes on possibly an armed suspect. And right there, you can yes. see how easily it just opens up the door and walks right in. Now, it has multiple cameras on it and also uh, a microphone and I believe a speaker as well. So we can communicate to people inside of the building, provide instructions, let them know, you know, to surrender or it could direct people, perhaps uh, victims that needed to get out in some way. So uh, now we're seeing it looks like you can just see the legs in there. It's unclear what kind of a building this is. I'm not sure if it's a garage or an ADU. I did hear an accessory dwelling unit. Um, I did hear them say that this was an ADU, so perhaps it's a garage that's been converted into a living space. But right there on the edge of, of the door, you can see, Amy, that, that robot uh, dog still taking a look around inside. And it really is amazing that they can send in this robot dog and really keep real canines and officers safe in these you know unknown situations. They don't know what's behind that door. And this way they can see and not put any human lives in jeopardy or even a canine life in jeopardy. So this is really uh, just amazing to be able to watch this in action. We've heard so much about them, but uh, yeah, it's we're going to we're going to take a quick break. And of course, we'll update you if we get some new information.